Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go back up to the Great White North, and I'm going to give a quick breakdown of who Marty Robert is, the, the Hell's Angels kingpin, most powerful biker boss in Canada right now, a, a force of nature, of a personality, a guy that's been climbing the, uh, the rungs of the underworld ladder in Canada for the last 30 years and has finally reached an apex. Um, I reported last week that from my sources and what's being disseminated out of the Canadian media, it appears that Marty Robert is the catalyst behind the murder of Greg Woolley um, and that the Hells Angels killed a former brother or quasi brother. Uh, there's some debate about whether or not he was ever an actual Hells Angels member or he was just an affiliate president of uh, the Rockers. But uh, Greg Woolley, the, the consummate mob diplomat, somebody that effortlessly moved through all the different ethnic factions and put people together, a, a, a Haitian uh, street gang boss that became in some ways, a right, a right hand to Mom Boucher of the Hell's Angels and Vito Rizzuto um, of the of the of the Sicilian Mafia in Canada. Not really a right hand man, but someone that was very a trusted ally, more so than most uh, non Caucasians. Uh, and people were wondering where where that hit came from last month. It looks like that hit came from the Hell's Angels, and from what I'm being told, Marty Robert is going to be the boss of bosses. He wants to flip the paradigm uh, that had always existed where it was kind of Vito Rizzuto as one, meaning the Italian was the top boss of bosses in Canada and the top biker boss in Mom Boucher was kind of two or maybe one A and one B. Uh, and it, it always looked like the Italians were the more, the more respected, the more refined, uh, in some ways, the final say, uh, but Marty Robert wants to flip it, and, and he wants to be have the Hell's Angels be one A, and uh, the Mafia or whoever else be one B and one C or what, what have you. Marty Robert has big ambitions um, and wants to be the number one underworld shot caller in Canada. This is a guy that. Uh, made his bones in the Hells Angels during that huge Quebec biker war that raged from the mid-90s into the early 2000s um, and made a big splash in the news in the late 2010s when he married his longtime girlfriend, uh, Anna Arbeck, uh, who is a, a convicted drug dealer in her own right, uh, comes from a family of drug dealers, her mom, um, was known as the queen pin, uh, biggest female drug dealer in, in Quebec. Uh, and they both went down in a, in a case in the early 2000s. Marty Robert uh, was arrested for his role in that Quebec biker war that, that brought down Mom Boucher. Um, went on the run for a while, was, was corralled back to Canada uh, to, to see the judge from a hiding space in, in Cancun, I think in, in Mexico, but was somebody that I'm being told was always viewed as a future leader, um, as somebody that had boss potential. Um, and I think he, from what I'm told, he looked at, he looks at what Mom Boucher did and wants to take it to another level. And he has the respect, the juice, um, the connections to do it. And, I, and I've been told he is, he's a chameleon. He's Machiavellian. He knows uh, how to portray himself and his interest to people, what they want to hear, but at the same time playing it for his best interest, even if what he's saying isn't what he's thinking or what he's thinking isn't what he's saying. Um, so, you know, he... He's a real wild card here, and and the and the law enforcement in Canada, the RCMP, are are pretty heavy in in watching him. His his house was raided uh, back in the spring of 2023 in the aftermath of the assassination attempt on Sicilian, uh, on the Italian mafia boss Leonardo Rizzuto, 
uh, the son and successor of Vito. Um, it looks like he joined forces for a short period of time with, with Chit Del Basso in 2022 to try to overthrow Rizzuto and then made an about face after that assassination attempt failed allegedly is, is suspected in, in being involved in Chit Del Basso's murder back in June. Del Basso was leaving a meeting with Marty Robert uh, on the West Island neighborhood of, of Montreal, the West End, West End section, or West Island section, um, when he was murdered. So, you know, where he, where Robert stands with, with Leonardo Rizzuto, I think it's, it might not, what meets the eye might not necessarily be what's happening. I know that there's conversations that have been back and forth. Uh, Leo, Leonardo Rizzuto, from what I can, from what I can understand and talking to my sources, doesn't know what to believe. Uh, there is, a, there's still a lot of questions to be, you know, figured out and, and, and a lot more of this story to be written, but Marty Robert without question right now in North America, there are not many more powerful, um, ambitious, and fearsome underworld figures as Marty Robert. I know that uh, on the streets, he's sometimes called Marty the Capo. Uh, so from very early on, he he had his eyes on being the Capo de Tutti Capi, the Capi de Tutti Capo, uh, the boss of bosses. So uh, that is Marty Robert right now. You know, haven't heard a lot from Nergit, uh who I guess on paper is the most uh, uh, the number one biker in Canada when it, when it comes to the Hells Angels. He's out in Ontario, a, a, a quiet uh, kind of Wizard of Oz, more stealthy behind the scenes guy. But I would say right now, Marty Robert is as powerful, if not more powerful than, than uh, Nergit Standick, Standick and is not just asserting his power in Quebec, he wants a lot of Ontario as well. And who knows where it goes from there. So just checking in, that's a breakdown on Marty Robert. We'll keep you updated on everything that goes on in the great Amer or the great Canadian Mafia War that's been raging across the border for a decade and a half now. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out.